What is phishing in cryptocurrency? A specific kind of cryptocurrency scam called phishing, includes deceiving victims into disclosing their private keys or personal data. To win the victim's trust, the attacker frequently poses as an honest company or person. The attacker uses the victim's details, to take their crypto funds after the victim has been duped. As online criminals and cyber attackers get more skilled, phishing scams are becoming more widespread. Many of these go after cryptocurrency wallets, exchanges, and ecos. In order to safeguard themselves and their money, cryptocurrency users must understand how they operate. In this video, we'll go through the mechanics of phishing scams, how to spot them, and prevention advice. How is a phishing attack carried out? An attacker will frequently begin a phishing assault, by sending out a bulk email or text message to potential victims. Frequently, it will appear to be coming from a reliable source, like a wallet or from an exchange. A link to a bogus website that resembles the actual one is almost always included in the message. The attacker uses the victim's login information when they click the link and enter it to access their account. Phishing attacks prompt a target into action by appealing to their sense of urgency or fear. For example, a message may claim a problem with the victim's account and that they must log in immediately to fix it. Others try to entice victims by offering a fake bounty or airdrop. In order to trick victims into entering their login information on a bogus website, some attackers even pretend to be concerned by warning account owners of strange activity. How can you spot a phishing email? Unfortunately, it might be challenging to recognize phishing emails. The majority of phishers take considerable pains to make their emails and websites appear trustworthy. But these are some warning signs to watch out for. Copycatting. Copycatting refers to the imitation of an organization's distinguishing text, typefaces, logos, or color schemes on its legitimate website. Being familiar with the branding of the companies you interact with is the best defense against copycat phishing. You will have a better chance of catching a forger that way. Mistakes in grammar or spelling. Spelling and grammar problems are frequent in phishing emails. Fishers typically don't spend time proofreading since they are in a rush to spread their message. They occasionally lack proficiency in the language they are utilizing. An email that has glaring mistakes in it is probably a phishing effort. Inaccurate links. A link in the email that appears to take you to the genuine website, but actually directs you to a phony website is another approach to fish someone. Shortened URLs or embedded links, that conceal the actual destination website, are frequently used in phishing attacks. For instance, the displayed anchor text for a hyperlink, could be very different from the actual URL of the connection. The fisher makes minor mistakes, like changing a lowercase i to an uppercase i, to visually imitate a legitimate link destination. Attackers also frequently utilize a public email account rather than a business one, since it is simpler to build a phony email with a public domain than with a corporate one. Therefore, a professional-sounding email that ends in at Gmail. Com rather than at company name. Com should raise red flags. Typical crypto phishing schemes. In the cryptocurrency industry, the following phishing attack types are particularly widespread. Targeted phishing attack. A targeted attack aimed at a particular person or business is known as spear phishing. Here, the fisher is aware of their target in advance, and will utilize this information to customize the phishing email to make it appear genuine. For instance, the attacker may pose as someone or a company the target knows in an email. Then, a malicious link that looks genuine is added. Attacking whales. A specific kind of spear phishing attack called a whaling attack, focuses on CEOs and other high-profile targets within a business. Due of the possibility of a bigger audience than a typical spear phishing attack, it is very risky. For instance, the attacker might be able to access the entire network of the organization, if the CEO falls for it and clicks on a malicious link. Same phishing scam. This attack takes place when the fisher produces a copy of an authentic email, that has previously been delivered to the victim. The attacker sends the victim a malicious attachment or link in place of the original. The victim is more likely to click on the link, because of habit or familiarity because the email looks exactly like one they have already received. Cyber attack. Even if the victim enters the right URL, they are still forwarded to a bogus website in this kind of phishing assault. This is usually done by infecting the DNS server, which is responsible for converting URLs into IP addresses, with malicious code. The code will then redirect victims to the attacker's fake website when they try to visit a legitimate website. Farming attacks are particularly dangerous because they can be very difficult to spot. 
A victim may enter the correct URL for their bank's website but still land on a fake website that looks identical to the real one. Phishing through SMS SMS phishing, also known as smishing, use text messages rather than emails. Smishing attackers text their victims with what appear to be official business texts. The victim will be asked for their login information when they click the link in the SMS, which the attacker then uses to access their account. Phishing bots Phishing bots are computer programs that automate phishing attacks. They can be used to send out mass phishing emails, create fake websites, and host those sites on servers. Such bots could also automatically collect victims' login credentials and other sensitive information. These programs are often applied in conjunction with other types of attacks, such as denial of service attacks and spamming. If you find value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.